Hi students, welcome to the session. I am Dr. K. Varadaras Kumar, Associate Professor, Department of CSE, AIML, MLR Institute of Technology, Hyderabad. In this session, we will learn Digigastros algorithm. So, overview of the presentation. In this session, we see introduction to Digigastros algorithm and we will learn algorithm. So, after that, we discuss Digigastros algorithm with one example and we will learn what is the time and space complexity of the algorithm and finally, we discuss about advantages and disadvantages of Digigastros algorithm. Outcome of this lecture, at the end of this lecture, you all are apply Digigastros algorithm to find shortest path between nodes in a graph. Introduction to Digigastros algorithm. So, Digigastros algorithm is a single source shortest path problem algorithm is about so finding a path between a given vertex called source to all other vertices in a graph such that the total distance between them is minimum. So, Digastros algorithm is used to find the shortest path between nodes in a graph, so which may represent. So, for example, so road networks or computer networks. So, let us discuss with one example. So, let us assume, so these are the vertices in a graph. with some weights. Now, so what is the purpose of Digastros algorithm? So, this Digastros algorithm is used to find shortest path from one node to all the nodes in the graph. For example, the source vertex is A. Now, so from this vertex A, we have to find the shortest path to all the remaining vertices in a graph from A to C, from A to B and from A to D and from A to E, we are going to find the shortest path. So, Digastros algorithm is used to find a path between a given vertex called as source to all other vertices in a graph. So, Digastros algorithm, step 1, mark the source node with a current distance of 0 and the rest with infinity. So, let us consider this graph. In this graph, I select the source vertex as a A. Okay. The remaining vertices are B, C, D. What is the step 1? So, mark the source node with a current distance of 0. So, mark this distance of A as 0 and the rest with infinity. So, remaining vertices are initialized as infinity. Okay. So, next step set the non-visited node with the smallest current distance as the current node. If you observe in A, B, C, D, A has smallest distance. Now, you select A. For each neighbor n of the current nodes at the current distance of the adjacent node with the weight of the edge connecting. If it is smaller than the current distance of node, set it as the new current distance of n. So, what it is? So, for example, here I want to move from A to B. Now, check the distance of B. So, what is the distance of B? The distance of B is 8, but it is initialized as infinity. Now, 8 is less than infinity. So, Sn 8 as a distance of B. That means, the distance from A to B is 8 now. Okay, that is a simple algorithm. Here, the formula is, here we are going to find distance of U comma V. So, D means distance, U means source vertex, V means destination vertex. So, what is the value of D of U comma V? That is, the base run, the so distance of U plus cost of 
u comma v is less than distance of v then we are going to assign the distance of v equals to distance of u plus cost of u comma v so this formula is very important so distance of u comma v so how we find so we know the distance of u plus cost of u comma v if it is less than the distance of destination vertex then the destination vertex distance equals to distance of source vertex plus cost of source and destination vertex now in this abcd we select a why so it is a minimum distance now i select a and for each neighbor for a what are the neighbors b and c are the neighbors now for a the neighbors are b and c for each neighbor n of the current node adds the current distance of the adjacent node now so for a to b so now a to b so a is u b is v now distance of b that is based on distance of a plus cost of a comma b less than distance of b then distance of b equals to distance of a plus cost of a comma b that's it now what is the distance of a distance of a is 0 plus cost of a comma b so what is the cost of a comma b the cost of a comma b is 8 less than distance of b what is the distance of b now infinity now 8 less than infinity true or false true so d of b equals to 8 now that is it ok so now what is the next neighbor c same formula so distance of a plus cost of a comma c less than cost of c then distance of c equals to distance of a plus cost of a comma c ok so pause the video and find what is the distance of c here distance of a is 0 plus the cost of a comma c is 3 0 plus 3 3 3 less than infinity yes it is true so i assign 3 here now so d is not neighbor of a so infinity here okay so what is the next step mark the current node as visited what is the current node a is the current node so i mark a as a visited now okay so next step go to step 2 if there are any nodes are unvisited in this b c d are unvisited so again go to step 2 what is the step 2 again set the non visited node with the smallest current distance now in this 8 3 smallest distance is c why the value is 3 next step for each neighbor n of the current node adds the current distance now identify for c for c the neighbor nodes are if you observe for c the neighbor node is 3 now find the distance of b here how the source is c now destination is b now distance of c plus cost of c comma b less than distance of b okay now what is the distance of c distance of c is 3 3 plus what is the cost 2 5 so 5 less than what is the distance of b 8 so 5 less than 8 is true so now the distance of b is changed from 8 to 5 okay and another neighbor is d okay now what is the distance of d again same formula distance of c plus cost of c comma d now what is the distance of c 3 so 3 plus what is the cost of c d 5 less than what is the actual distance of d infinity 8 less than infinity true so assign 8 here okay now next step mark the current node as a visited now c is visited c is visited now in this 5 8 smallest value is b now select b vertex 
Next find B neighbor nodes. For B, the neighbor nodes are D. Okay. Now, again same formula. Distance of B. What is the distance of B? 5. 5 plus cost of BD is 1 less than. What is the distance of D? 8. So, 6 less than 8. True. So, now 8 is replaced with 6 now. Okay. Now, so B is also visited. So, B is visited. The remaining node is D. D is the last node. We process all the nodes. So, so D is also visited. Okay. Now, so what are the vertices? A, B, C, D. A to A, the minimum distance is 0. For A to B, the minimum distance is 5. For C, the minimum distance is 3. For A to D, the minimum distance is 6. That is it. A to A, 0. A to B, 5. A to C, 3. A to D, 6. In this way, we are going to find the distance between A to all other vertices in the graph. Now, how we find the path from A to B? If you observe here A to B is, there is a direct link, but the weight is 8. If you traverse via C, then the weight is 3 plus 2, 5. Now, how we know that? Now, check these entries. If you observe here, so this is the B. Now, move to previous entry. In previous entry, the distance of B is changed from 5 to A. So, in this entry, you are going to identify minimum number 3. So, 3 belongs to C. That means, the destination is B. Before B, we reach C and again move to previous entry. In this previous entry, what is the minimum value? 0. 0 belongs to A. So, so this is the path A, C, B is the path for A to B. So, let us consider this graph. What are the vertices? Vertices are A, B, C, D, E, F. So, what is the first step? Select any vertex as a source vertex. I select A. So, I mention the distance is 0. For the remaining, all the vertices are infinity. Okay. So, what is the second step? Select one non-visited node. So, how we select? The criteria is vertices having minimum distance. In these values, the minimum distance is 0. Okay. Now, what is the third step? So, identify the distance to all the neighbor vertices. For A, for A, here the neighbor vertices are B, C. B, C. So, what is the formula? So, distance of A comma B, distance of A plus cost of A comma B is less than distance of B. Then, distance of B equals to distance of A plus cost of A comma B. So, this is the formula. So, now what is the distance of A? 0. Distance of A is 0 plus cost of A comma B. What is cost of A comma B? 4. 0 plus 4? 4. Less than what is distance of B? Infinity. So, 4 less than infinity? True. So, distance of B now become as 4. Okay, now, so what is the distance of A comma C? Distance of A plus cost of A comma C is less than distance of C. So, now, check the, what is the distance of A? 0. 0 plus cost of A comma C is 5. Less than distance of C is infinity. So, 5 less than infinity, true. So, here it is 5. Okay. So, next step. So, mark A as A visited. Okay. And go to step 2. What is the step 2? Again, you select a vertex in this graph which have minimum distance. The minimum distance is 4 now. The remaining are infinity is 4 now. Now, select B vertex. Now, find B 
as a source consider b as a source vertex and find the distance to adjacent vertices what are the adjacent vertices one is a another one is c and d e so these are the adjacent vertices same formula so distance of b plus so a is visited so distance of b plus cost of b comma c less than so distance of c then only distance of c equals to distance of b plus cost of b comma c now for the cost b comma c is 11 4 plus 11 4 plus 11 15 15 less than what is the actual distance 5 so 15 less than 5 false so we don't change the cost of c here okay so next one so distance of d now 4 plus 9 so 4 plus 9 means 13 so distance of d is 13 now and distance of e so 4 plus 7 so it is 11 it is infinity okay this is 5 and make b as a visited so in first iteration a is visited in this visited b second one now 5 13 11 select minimum value 5 okay so now the source vertex as a c and find the distances of neighbor vertices so for c the neighbor vertices are a b e so both a b are visited now we consider e now if you observe so distance of c is 5 plus the cost of c to e is 3 so less than what is the present distance 11 so 8 less than 11 true so make now 8 as a distance of e so it is 8 so remaining are same 13 infinity now in this 13 and 8 smallest one is e now select e and here make c as a visited now so e as a source vertex now consider adjacent vertices for e the adjacent vertices are e b c f c visited b visited so the remaining are d and f so now find distance of e to d is distance of e that is 8 8 plus 13 21 so 21 is less than 13 false so do, we do not update 13 here okay so now f so what is the distance of e 8 plus cost of e to f is 6 less than infinity so that is so 14 less than infinity yes 14 is less than infinity so the distance of f is 14 now and mark e as a visited okay so now next one 13 14 d n so d and f in this so 13 is the smallest now select d so d adjacent vertices are b e f so b e are visited so we have only f so what is the distance of d that is 13 plus so what is the cost so cost is 2 so 13 plus 2 15 so what is the distance of f 14 so 15 less than 14 false so it remains as 14 only and make d as a visited okay and finally f so f adjacent vertices are d and e both are visited so some mark this f as a visited that is it now for a the minimum distance is 0 from a to a from a to b the minimum distance is 4 for c it is 5 c last entry for d it is 13 for e it is 8 for f the distance from a to f is 14 okay now let us find path path 
from A to G. Okay. So how? See the E entry here. So this is the E entry. What is the cost? Eight. Now E. Then move to the previous entry. Now in this eight is changed as a eleven. So in this identify minimum number that is five. So now so five belongs to C. So it is C. Then move to previous entry. So C value is not changed. Then move to so previous entry. Yes, here C value is changed. So identify minimum number. The minimum number is A. So so this is the path A C E. So A to C five. C to E three. Five plus three eight. So in this way we are going to find path from source to destination. Here in this example, source is A. Destination is E. So let us see the so time and space complexity. For Dijkstra's algorithm, the time complexity is big O of E log V. So where E is the number of edges and V is the number of vertices. Okay. So space complexity is big O of V. If the number of vertices are n, then it is big O of n. If both edges and vertices are same, then the time complexity is big O of n log n. Okay. Advantages and disadvantages. So advantages of Dijkstra's algorithm: it finds the shortest path from a single source to all other nodes in a weighted graph. It is suitable for various applications like so network, routing, and GPS navigation. So coming to disadvantages. it may or may not be handle graphs with negative weighted graph okay in next class we are going to see how to find the shortest path in negative weighted graph okay but so this dijkstra's algorithm is not suitable for so negative weighted graph you may or may not be get so correct result if the graph contains so negative weights the time complexity can be high for so dense graphs with many edges if the edges are more then the time complexity will be increased summary of the session in this session we will learn dijkstra's algorithm so dijkstra's algorithm is used to find the shortest path from a single source to all other nodes in a non negative weighted graph if the graph contains any negative weights then may or may not be we get the exact result so correct results okay in next class we see so how to find the shortest path between vertices if that graph contains negative weights so using bellman ford algorithm so bellman ford algorithm is used to handle the graphs have negative weights if you have any doubts ask your questions in comment section i will answer your questions thank you